Good morning. Good to study God's word with you today. So looking at our, our theme of the last day and today looking at Luke 21, our gospel lesson, verses 5 uh, through 21. I'm just going to kind of, I'm not going to read many of these verses, but just going to kind of go through these because these are uh, signs that Jesus uh, says will be coming before the last day. And so um, Jesus says, verse 6, as for what you see here, the time will come but not one stone will be left on another. Every one of them will be thrown down. Talking about the temple. Uh, has the temple uh, in Jerusalem been destroyed? Yes. Uh, got the chance to see some of the remains of that um, this last uh, spring when I went to Israel. Uh, Jesus says, Watch out that you're not deceived. Many will come in my name, claiming I am he, and the time is near. Um, do not follow them. Uh, we heard of false prophets coming, uh, people saying the end of the the end of the or the last day, the end of the earth will be this this day, such and such day. Um, yep, we've seen that. Yep, yep. Uh, verse nine: wars, uprisings. These things must happen first. Have they taken place? Yep. Uh, no, verse ten: nation will rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. There will be earthquakes, famines, pestilences in various places. Fearful events and great signs from heaven. Uh, have we seen these take place? Uh, yep, yep, yep. Check, check, check. Uh, how about going through into uh, verses uh, 12 through um, 19? Uh, I'm going to look at, You'll be betrayed, even by parents, brothers, sisters, relatives, and friends, and they'll put some of you to death. We've seen that in the disciples. Everyone will hate you because of me. Uh, we see family uh, struggles in your family at all because of of your faith and perhaps those in your family that don't don't believe in the struggle that um that that can create yep yep we see that all around us um you know okay you get the the picture right these things that jesus um says to look for signs you know before the last day uh, have they taken place yes yes they have and so that uh, allows us to know two things one, it um, it emphasizes for us to be ready. The last day could come anytime. You know, the the signs, the wonders, they have all taken place, um, so that we should be we should be ready. And we do so, of course. Faith comes from hearing the message, being in God's word as frequently as possible. The second thing it does for us is to also not be afraid. To not be afraid when these great things, disasters happen, earthquakes, uh, natural disasters, wars. When these things take place, we do not have to fear. God is still on his throne. Jesus has still ascended into heaven. Jesus is still ruling and guiding all things. Despite the, the troubles and the, the sin that takes place within this world, um, Jesus is still ruling, guiding all things. And Jesus has still lived, died, and rose again, winning salvation for you. And so when these things that can naturally bring us fear, we don't have to be afraid because we know who is still in control. And so as we look ahead to the last day, I pray that you can uh, see those two things to um, encourage us to be ready and then to also comfort us. Do not be afraid no matter what takes place in this world. Let's pray. Dear Lord, uh, we have seen the signs, the wonders. Uh, looking ahead to the last day, uh, we thank you for the confidence that we can have. Um, we thank you for preparing us to be ready. Uh, we ask that you help us to continue to be ready by being in your word. Uh, we ask that you help us to have comfort, knowing that you are guiding all things, watching over all things for our good. We pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. God's blessings on your day.